Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. Thanks for joining me today as I do this toy box makeover. This is the old fabric that was on the top of this. It had a really nice black backing, so I wanted to keep that. Um, so as we deconstructed this, we took the pieces and parts that were in good shape and then I found a nice piece of fabric and ironed it and removed the old fabric but kept the rest because it was in really great shape and pulled out my IOD Whispering Willow Transfer. You may remember I had used a bunch of this on a dresser that I will show you at the end. And these are the parts that I had left over. And I wanted to go ahead and use some of these on the top of this toy box so that it would match the dresser that I had done for my granddaughter. So just taking that um, that I had and kind of laying out some of the pieces to see how I would like that to look, I just went ahead and took the... Um, parts that were left over, some I'm um, just improvising with a lot of these and making them to be what I want them to be. <laughs> um, and so you've seen people use these before. It's a little more difficult on fabric. Um, you do have to press a little bit harder, especially on this fabric. It's a little bit thick. Um, and then peel off the the plastic and burnish it down. So it does take a little bit more work to do it on fabric, but it really does work well. It works great on drop cloth, which I had considered using, but I didn't have a large enough piece left over. I am taking the fox as my central figure on the, um, the picture, I guess you would say, that I'm creating. And then what I wanted to do was take the mushrooms and go ahead and make a wreath around the fox primarily with the mushrooms and then some of the florals and the leaves and the ivy and the other parts that I had left until I created a picture that I liked. It's a little bit harder when you um, you know, are creating it for yourself. If you just look at a picture of what somebody else has done or you look at the back of the um, transfer book, you can get some ideas. You can use it exactly like they have it or you can cut it like I do and you can create your own picture to look the way that you want it to be. It's completely up to you. I think the more you use them, the better you get at them. Um, but you have to be careful. Uh, what I did notice when I had laid two side by side is they stick very quickly. So the sticky part of one had stuck to the plastic on the other and I had lost a part of my um, mushroom that I could not get back. I could not get it off the plastic. So I had to go ahead and cover that with something else. But so you just want to be careful when you are layering the way that I'm layering, um, not to let the plastic touch. Now, once you get the basic shape, then filling in the rest, what I did was I took some of the florals that I had left, left over and I just began to cut pieces off of them um, to be able to give me more of those colors um, on the leaves and spread that out across what I'm considering more or less a wreath. And then just continue to do this until I was finished getting the look that I wanted. So I'll play some music until I finish that and then I'll come back to show you what we did after that.
Now, once we were completely finished here with that design, I did take that uh, top of the toy chest and kept the um, batting. That was an excellent shape. And then covered that with this piece of fabric and then took out my tape measure to measure so that I would get that uh, centered onto the piece as good as I could and then I needed my husband's help to help me to staple this on. If you ever do upholster a good size uh, piece it is nice to have extra set of hands so that you can pull the fabric nice and taunt while somebody else is stapling. Um, so my husband was great help on this piece. I could definitely not have done this myself, plus it was rather heavy. Um, so went around the whole thing, just pulling it tight and, um, and stapling it. And then once we had that done, taking the excess off, and then we uh, finished stapling that on. Now I am going to slow down and show you the corners a couple of times here because the corner is the hard part. Obviously the rest of it's pretty easy. You just wanna get it centered, you wanna get it taunt, and it's nice to do like one side and then the other. The middle of the corner, watch how I do this. Middle, left, right, and that way you don't need a whole lot of staples one or two staples and it is done, especially if you're putting it on a stool or something. You want each of your four corners to match. And then once we were done with that, we took the black piece of backing that was on the original piece because it was in excellent shape and we went away, uh, did the same thing. We just went around and stapled the corners and then filled in the rest with the staples so that it was nice and tight um, and also um, covered the fabric so you have a double protection here and this is the underside of this toy chest the black piece so that when you open it um, you know no splinters the baby can't get hurt uh, on the toy chest and it has a nice finished look and then this is the wicker toy chest that we are using um, we had to go ahead and put that back the top back with the original hinges and this is the dresser that I made, if you have not seen it, for this piece to match. And I think that it is going to be adorable in my granddaughter's nursery. I will attach the full video of the dresser in the description. And then here is the toy chest to go in that nursery with it. So let me know what you think. And if this gives you any ideas of using transfers in a little bit of a different way than usual. And I appreciate your hitting like or share and commenting. That really helps the channel grow so that I can continue to do this. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you in the next one. Take care.